Hello everybody, welcome to maybe the most anticipated match of the entire World Championship. We have the official replay cast of Mr. Page up against Casto from Group M. And you can just look at Mr. Page's team here, it's hilarious. He's gone for six Mighty Blow Blackhawks, a Block Troll and a Sneaky Git Goblin. Incredible. The bangiest banger that ever was. Hilarious. Absolutely love it. This basically exact same build was taken in Euro Bowl by one coach who got um, <laughs> most cars. And in the Europen, the, the open event at the same time as Euro Bowl, where the guy who took it got most cars. So this is like the perfect team for Mr. Page, isn't it? Everyone's been laughing about this team it's hilarious and it can work right it can work you can absolutely just remove four players instantly on turn one and then actually caster won the toss and chose to kick which i would absolutely not have done i would if i'd won the toss i'd be receiving i'd be daiquiring i'd be absolutely trying to limit the amount of punches i could possibly take and you know so i didn't just lose randomly because this is absolutely terrifying now both teams are orange so we'll have to make them red and blue actually and to tell what the hell's going on. This is like the Seabros build. Yep, the Seabros build. We've got three dodge blitzers, a rookie blitzer, and a dodge assassin, a wrestle blit witch, a block witch, two rerolls, and an apple. So this is Ooh. Yeah, no, this is this is this is the absolute uh yeah, so see, so see has won Super League with this build, so it's a, it's you know it's a very proven build. Um, Caster qualified as an alternate because Pastel de Carni didn't check in on time um, through the season five ladder. I'm gonna say, whereas Mr. Page qualified through the season four playoffs. Uh, Caster is French and Mr. Page is Canadian. So there you go, let's see what happens. Will Mr. Page bang everything out? Well, he gets the free catch, incredible. That's one of the horrifying things of the drive over with for the Blackhawks. Instant full cage. Oh, now he gets to grab him into a massive gang foul. Yes. <laughs> So it's so f oh no he's got a reroll he's got four though okay well no no kills yet sad hmm. well here we go huge huge foul hmm. Well, <laughs> that was the least exciting <laughs> seven mighty blow turn one ever, wasn't it, actually? <laughs> well, just runs around and blitzes a goblin. I like this, just base all the goblins, right? Oh, I mean, he's only basing one. But I like just basing goblins every turn. I would have actually run more players around and just based goblins. Because they just... They just can't... Uh, they can't really deal with it, right? If you have... If you have... Blockers even on the goblins. It's bad time for goblins. Oof. Couldn't he have run around the side? He could have run around the side, right? And got an additional block in, but didn't bother. Well, gets the foul. Removal. Trolls basing. Biggins basing. Oh wow. Instant dodge. <laughs> and the rush to hit the sneaky kid. <laughs> But yeah, this is this is what you want as the elves, getting your uh, 
getting your blitzers onto the goblins. I maybe wouldn't have gone like so isolated. Like I, I, I just go all out for the ball honestly against Black Ops. They're so bad. They're so bad at playing Blood Bowl that I just go straight for the ball and like try to beat the mate now. <laughs> so um, but here we go. Only a 2D blitz. Probably could have made that a 3D, right? Gets the ball safe. Bosh! Only a stun. Oh, but gets to Brawler. Doesn't do anything. Oh my, wow, this is... Oh, I was going to say, this is absolutely... <laughs> <laughs> oh, absolutely crucial, absolutely crucial troll. I mean, I get, you know, you've got a reputation to uphold and uh, you're doing it by the getting that troll activation, but that was super risky. Yeah, he's just going to 1D for a, for a 2D on the ball. Just a three plus, isn't it? No, oh, Kaz is the goblin. Here's the thing: if you if you just base goblins with block players, it usually ends pretty badly for them. Does get the push? Um, he could come in with a witch elf, couldn't he? But doesn't. I feel I would have gone in with a witch elf there. Two and a two, but oh my god. He uses his second reroll, so both rerolls gone to get the ball and niche off with it. Oh, he vomited on himself! <laughs> he vomited on himself. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> oh my god, that would be incredible, Calcium. Oh, you can do it now, can't you? With deep fakes, we need that. We need the scene from the cable guy, <laughs> Mr. Page and Space Cadet. Someone, somebody, make that, please. <laughs> oh God! I could fully imagine Space Cadet doing that <laughs> in real life. Oh dear, right, so it's turn four, plenty of time for the Delves. Now, I mean, the Delves can be very serious now about winning the game, can't they? Now they've got the ball, they, they should really be... They probably should have already been focused on winning the game because it's a World Cup match, but there's a certain amount of joy in the game just because Paige's team is so funny. <laughs> I, would, I would find it hard to look at it as a proper game of Blood Bowl, honestly. Um... Oh wow, well, that was a three plus. I kind of hate that, right? I would have started with a two plus to cover the backside, and then that guy could have covered the front. So um, a little bit. I guess the thing is, if you fail by doing that, so he started off with like three twos. The reason he did this way, it was actually best. I was incorrect. I was incorrect. I'll rewind. So. This looks bad, right, to do this 3-2 first. Looks bad, because this is just a 2+. plus. But the thing is, if this 2+, plus fails, you've got an instant hit on the ball. So you do the harder 3-2 to cover, and then you can dodge this guy. And he doesn't really do anything then. But this is a harder one, because failing, you still can't get to hit him, right? So that that is why he does what looks like the incorrect... Because the, the, be the far better end state is the Blitzer out here and the Witch Elf there. But this 1 in 36 would be critical. So it's far better to, to attempt a 1 in 9. And then maybe it's a 1 in 36, maybe it's a 1 in 30, maybe it's a 1 in 6, maybe a 1 in 36, whichever way it is. You can just attempt them both. Actually, what he probably done was not stack them, right? Do the first dodge. And then if you pop dodge, then you can try this guy to, try to do two. Something like that, but... um. 
he did just stack them. But yeah, so I like that. So it it looked it looked wrong, but that's the idea. Is that it um, covers the failure state? But I mean, I would really be struggling to take this game seriously. I would be so happy. I just have a big grin on my face, even if, even if I got slaughtered. Like you know, even if I took seven cars and lost, it's just fun, isn't it? Fair play, fair play to Paige for just taking a fun team to the World Championship. <laughs> fair flipping play. He's not rolling well, is he? I mean, he's a wild card. He's certainly a wild card. Like, you, you could easily lose this game, but you would still have fun doing it, wouldn't you? Which is crazy. Well, I would anyway. I just think it's hilarious. I guess there are some people that might not, you know, Oh, I got banged out, diced, and lost. But why? Like, I mean, it, it's dice dependent, isn't it? Like, it's really dice dependent. Like, it's it's monumentally dice dependent, his team. But if he gets the dice, you just lose. <laughs> you just straight up lose because you've got no players left. <laughs> Currently, hasn't worked out for him. He's not blitzing with a troll enough, really, right? He should be. He should be blitzing with a troll. He should be blitzing non-block players with his troll every turn. And he should be like three dicing as much as possible as well. So. Yeah, indeed, indeed, guys. It, we are all playing a dice game as much as some may take it more seriously than they should. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't. I would not have taken a comedy team. I mean, the thing is, the high variance team could have been lizards, right? Like, you can take lizards that are, like, ridiculously strong and hope not to get wood elves. That's the kind of high variance I'd be taking. Um. <laughs> There's no need to be mean, Calcium. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> He could have he could have joined the NAF ladder and had lots of practice games, but I guess for his stream, right, like the the you know the leveling them up to bang things is more important, isn't it, than playing NAF and doing well. Like at the end of the day, this is more entertaining than him learning how to play NAF style and like, just taking lizards. He's played lizards on stream, hasn't he? I mean, just lizards. If if you don't think you're the best player in the world, you should take lizards. Like, I'm not saying that because, you know, as a euphemism for Mr. Page being rubbish or anything, right? Like, which I think was, was harsh. But just literally, if you don't think you're the best player in the world, I think you should be playing Lizards because Lizards are insane. So, like, I think 60 people should have been playing Lizards. <laughs> or whatever, right? <laughs> because lizards, lizards are just insane. That's how good they are. They're incredible. So... I don't think the high variance team to take was Black Orcs. I think it was Lizards. But it's very funny. It's I mean it's very funny. He's given us all so much fun just by what he chose, even if he doesn't win any games. Um 
I think that was an accidental score, yeah, it looked like. <laughs> it did look like an accidental score, yeah. But because it wasn't his drive, it doesn't matter apart from giving away three blocks, yeah. Yeah. I'm just distracted by how awesome Mr. Page is. Sorry. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> No, I'm, sh I'm sure Dulac thinks he's the best, right? I'm so I'm sure Dulac taking Skaven is fine, right? Like Core taking Wood Elves, Strider taking Wood Elves, Andy taking Necro, Bright taking Necro, uh, Diamond taking Necro, right? These kind of people taking all these things is fair enough. Like they, I'm sure they all think they're. You know, I'm sure a bunch of people think they're number one. But how many think they're number one in this competition? Five, six, seven, eight. I wonder how many people think they're the number one favourite to win the tournament. But if you don't think you're the favourite to win the tournament, I think you should be playing Lizards. <laughs> that's, how, that's how strong I think Lizards are. So there you go. Mr. Page, unfortunately ends up doing basically nothing, 1KO, and turned over and scored on, and, uh, yep, time out, that burns a turn for free, we're not dackering, I mean, scoring early is fine, but this doesn't really look like a scoring early kind of drive either, like he's completely given the sidelines, so... I could see just trying to bang it in as soon as possible here is fine, before while you've still got any players left. But Daka, I mean, I would think I would have gone for a Daka. It's really tough for Mr. Page. Oh, he used Pro. He used Pro for the pickup. Amazing. It's really hard to defend this because he can score any turn he wants, right? So like, it's basically impossible. It's so hard. The hardest thing in the game is to defend elves that can score on any turn they want. Yeah, six mighty blows is hilarious. Yeah, it's absolutely hilarious. Oh yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah. He's got six level ups. He's leveled up six times, but he has seven mighty blows. <laughs> Gagster not even good enough to be uh, on Team England art. <laughs> <laughs> According to, uh, well, Kfog, I guess. Ooh, this is a bit tight, isn't it? But, you know, congrats. I mean, this is just one game, uh, the Bron. This is just one game, right? Like, as I say, this this build got most cars at Europa and Europa. And like people did fine with it. Yes, I, I I you do have to be English, I think. But I guess you probably qualify because you know people who are English. I mean that that's what's required to play for Team Wales. So if we apply the same stringent criteria for England, then uh, yeah, you absolutely should be on Team England. Okay, a, ch a chain in there is nice, isn't it? There could be another chain as well here. It just needs a goblin dodge. Yep. Gets the pal. Nice stuff from Mr. Page, well played. Gets a Kaz as well. Let's go. Two dice on the ball. Ah, oh, diced. Absolutely diced. Absolute comedy mega dicing. Not even surfing the bigger now, outrageous. Wow, okay, you can just do it with a blitz now. Yeah. I, I would have like punched the goblin and then 
just done it with a blitz, but fair enough. He just inevitably surfed him, I guess, yeah. Unlucky for Mr. Page, isn't it? He hasn't had the best of luck this game. And you know, Caster's played fine, right? No, it's just it's just hard to uh <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just hard to be uh <laughs> focused on what the L's are doing when one side has <laughs> seven mighty blocks. extra punch full power <laughs> gets a stun oh a blockless block When Arch shouts blockless block, people in England can hear him, so that's good enough to play for Team England, surely. Oh wow, there's a lot of dice, isn't it? An awful lot of dice here from Caster, not afraid to roll some dodges. Surely the troll goes back and lobs the goblin. At the ball. Is that stupid? Probably, yeah. Feel like uh, Mr. Page had to do more troll blitz, honestly. Get block. Get block on defenseless guys. But, like, Blackhawks are so slow. And it's really hard against elves. <laughs> yes, cats, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're so ridiculously slow. I like how he blitzes with a wrestle because it's free and there's no dice to do it, and then just instantly dodges there where 136 is disastrous. It's like if you're going to do that, you might as well have just blitzed with block, right? Like dodged with the witch elf and blitzed him with block. It's funny watching all these people playing elves making multiple dodges where a 1 in 36 would lead to disaster and them never failing them. And then me making two that would lead to absolute disaster and failing them both. Well done, Jim. Oh, look at this. All the dodges and rushes. Gets the 1D! Man, I tell you what, he's had some dice, hasn't he? He's had some chances. Mr. Page, like, he's... He's done the right things. He's found some good... He's found some good plays and then just hasn't had the dice. That must have just been a misclick, right? That must have just been a misclick. Like, could have surfed that goblin easily. I guess it just misclicked. Ah, all these dodges. <laughs> Kingdom for a frenzy, yeah. Yeah, frenzy, frenzy big and next time, not big and black hawks. It's so funny, like, training yourself to say Biggin instead of Black Hawk, and then forgetting that there is still a really rubbish team that nobody should ever play. 
<laughs> that still has black corks in it. <laughs> oh dear. Is this a troll blitz? Oh, let's go. No. Man, that was it, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. I mean, it would have taken a five plus dodge, but he was going for it. Amazing. Ugh. Diced. Oh, I might even just bloody make this 2 0 now. Instant and fall. Pow. Hmm. Okay, this is a bit risky actually doing the pass, isn't it? Because it could have been like wildly inaccurate or whatever, and then this big one could have scored. Not big and black hawk could have scored. Can Black Hawks pass? Oh, they can, 5 plus. B Biggins can't pass. I didn't even know that Biggins couldn't pass, by the way. I just found out the other day. That's how much I've never tried to pass with a Biggin in my life before. Didn't realize they haven't got a PA. Isn't that weird? Assassin's a 5 plus, I think. Yeah. Ah, yeah, that's fair, that's fair, Yudi. Mm. The radioactive hands, um, you got them with, um, like, Brutal Edition or whatever. And then, uh, so yeah, so I've got a, I've got a hand. They're like 750 warp stone for the, for the glowing hands. So there you go. And ultimately, it was an easy win for Caster. Only took one Kaz. Um... 1 2 nil, you know, go, uh, Black Oaks are really slow, but honestly, some really good moves by Mr. Page, and uh, you know, pretty, pretty harsh, pretty harsh dice overall for him. Um, I hope that he can go on to make some Kaz in his two remaining games, but yeah, hats off, hats off to him for taking this again. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.